Kingdom One in just a little bit. I think they'll leave Miami Dome. Well, actually, it's on Tiger and Jerry K to ban it out. But if they leave right. Miami Dome, GTG and Reaper are likely going to take it. I think I have to agree there. I think that, that stage kind of seems to be one of their comfort zones. Um, I am going to keep a close eye on Reaper because I feel like his spear is good. And he gets a lot of mileage off of kind of some of the larger hitboxes that Orion has. right? Like his teammate might get like a, a neutral light or something and he'll immediately throw it a side sig or a down sig because those sigs are so good at just covering someone being launched at a certain angle and guaranteeing that it's going to be a follow-up. Um, and that's where he gets a lot of mileage off of it. His edge guards were pretty good as well. He was able to get uh, a few quick kills using... Oh, no, 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 no. That was Scarlet EP dead. GG, <laughs> trying to guarantee it. Tiger with plenty of jumps, though, still gets back safely. Uh, oh, 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 he went for the read. Sheesh. Everyone's getting taken for a ride. Yo, these rocket lances are warmed up oh, no. from this blue team. <laughs> they just we keep getting sent off stage. Nice pick up Jerry K with the slap. That side air is going to give the red team that stock advantage. Man, that's OD. They're getting all these hits, but they're just not KOing. That jump oh, yeah. probably would have KO'd, but it was a perfect save there. Tiger, and there we go. Reaper needs to find the blow here to close us out and make it even, but it looks like he's not going to be able to find it. Tiger has a chance. Nope, I spoke too soon. Reaper able to find this air. That is going to even up. Blue team not too damaged. Uh, some higher defense legends in this one. Of course, Thor is still very high defense as well. Nice oh, big pick up oh. from Reaper. Can he get it? Nice. Weapon toss! Finally, they keep going for it. And Tiger's going to fall on the left side. He really reached for that hammer ground pound. But because he didn't connect, it was not able to touch the wall. Yeah, and I love the fact that he went for that weapon throw as well, because it's just a less committal option than going yeah. for a hard read, right? You don't want to put yourself too close to the kill box. If he just throws the weapon, it still secures the KO, and he's able to kind of get back to the stage with more options at his disposal. So very smart there as the blue team pushing forward, looking like they might be able to get this game won if they keep up this pressure. Can the red team make a comeback now, or has the blue team done enough damage to make this out of their bounds? It's hard to say. I don't know, this is, this is still potentially doable for the red team. Jerry K, definitely the most damaged one. Blue team might be starting to recognize that as you see him. Uh, he was going for that nair, that big side air again, gonna send Jerry K flying. They also know that they've lost 2v1s against Tiger, so they can't overcommit on just finishing off Jerry K. Right, there we go. Jerry K out of the picture. Tiger, this is the perfect opportunity for him. He needs to get this edge guard. Unable to find it though, but still not out of the picture by any means. Blue team trying to get their final hits, racking up that little bit of extra damage. Can they get rid of Tiger? They've lost in this exact same scenario before. And right now, Tiger's win condition is taking oh, out still GTG. Still in it. One yeah, silent recovery will be enough. A side sig, just enough force on that. You saw Tiger went to the exact top right corner of the screen there or having so much defense he almost survived and yeah, man that high defense legend almost worked out tiger was very close to finishing off gtg but will really well done from gtg uh to to help out stay alive and let reaper finish that one off and now we're going ahead pushing on forward to game number two this time, DTG and Reaper weren't able to get that first game, so that's good for them. They're able to build a little bit of momentum, and we're going right back to the same stage, which I'm sure they're happy about. Oof. Nice stomp side air. Red team just splitting the blue team right now. Sarah sitting off stage. Tiger. Going for the stomps here, not going to get it, but does find a down air instead. Goes for the thunder rush, barely doesn't connect here. Goes to Ghost looking for the final blow on Jerry K, can't find it. Jerry K trying to get the reversal, and be able to dodge back on the stage. Oh man, oh man, nice catch. Punish, double down like, gets him closer to the kill box. Reaper not able to punish from behind. Jerry K 
and take the first stock off the blue team. Oh, man. Nice reverse neutral air from Reaper on the recovery there to stuff out Jerry K, but ah. <laughs> just do it. I, I'm not sure if worth considering Tiger still sitting on that first stock. GTG does take out his teammate, but does take the stock off of Jerry K as well. Yeah, and sometimes I feel like you kind of bank on the fact that you know your partner's going to take reduced knot back and just hope that you know, yeah. your opponent dies and your partner lives. And sometimes scenarios like that. Oh, oh that was tough. Bad. <laughs> GTG falling there means that it is very dire for this blue team. Tiger still on the first stock. GTG onto his last one. They keep going for these off-stage games, right? Those Sayers and Dares and have not quite finished them off. Granted, it's good damage. Yeah, it's good damage, and, you know, granted, if they get it, you know, it, it's early KOs, and it makes life a lot easier, but in the same vein, if they don't find the read, they are off stage and in the perfect position to get edge guarded, and that's where we've seen Tiger and JK amass a lot of the damage that they've gotten this far. Oh, man. Reaper able to survive this one from GTG, so... Uh, Numbers-wise, it's technically even between the two teams, but definitely not in the damage department. Reaper about to fall soon. Nice. Oh, you can see he was trying to dash it in side light there to get the punish, but ended up running into the tail end of the end light animation. Tiger running back to the stage, Ghost to Ghost trying to bide his time as well. Oh man, Ghost to Ghost needs to stay alive here. Snared by his own teammate, hasn't touched the floor, and that's going to make it easy for Tiger to get the stomp. Sayer there, no options to be used from Ghost to Ghost to make his way back down to the floor. Reaper's now got a very tough 2v1. Three stocks left on the red team. Tiger with two of them. This is the Southeast Asian champion uh, sitting with two stocks alongside a teammate. This is uh, pretty tough for Reaper. Yeah, he's trying but not without taking damage. Tiger just holding down the NSIG there, but doesn't even need to do so. They're able to find the Sair, secure the KO to go ahead and tie up the set. 1-1, one, one, Jerry K and Tiger proving that they have no problem winning on Miami Dome. The first game was just a test run. Yeah, it, was just, it was just some warm-up period. They uh, were sitting up top, waiting for everything, just watching. Forgot to uh, brush the chip dust off their fingers before they got in the first game. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta, gotta blow the rust off. You gotta get the polish, uh, give it a nice little spit shine, make sure it's the way it's supposed to be. Nice and clean. We got we got legend swaps now. They're not feeling the rocket lances as much anymore. We got Baraza back. And Reaper and Xavier Woods on GTG. They're saying, all right, it didn't work last game. Let's just go back to, to the OGs and see how this works out. Yeah, um, it's going to be interesting to see how well this works out, considering I thought the double lance was really good and I did very uh, destructive. But at the same time, it seems like Jerry K has been able to kind of figure out how to play against it. And of course, so is Tiger, considering Tiger had two stocks at the end of it. But still, it really felt like double lance was the answer for GTG and Reaper. Now, these stages, Mammoth Fortress is the pick. Now, granted, we did see that the blue team on those rocket lances loved going off stage, right? Regardless of if they got the kill or not, they were just kind of always scooping it out, kind of off the stage, Three, for the side two, of the stage, trying to get a game, trying to get a quick kill. I want to see how many NSIGs Reaper is able to get here, how many quick KOs he's able to get off the sides, because I feel like one of Raza's signature, I just kind of you know, strats with the axe, but I don't really see much of it. Oh, man. I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, anything coming out from the blue team oh, just yet. Red team with complete control of this one. Off stage on the left side. Reaper trying oh. to find his way back with a weapon toss from Jerry K. GTG on the right side still fighting it out against Jerry K. Uh, and does get his footing back onto the stage for a brief moment. That was a pretty early stock too. Only within the first 30 seconds of the match, we already have Reaper down. In the second stock getting pushed off the stage already in the yellow as well. Not really doing too well in the 1v1 scenario versus Jerry K. But hopefully he'll be able to kind of buckle it up a little bit. Oh man. Side sig. Getting so much damage. Reaper 
about to lose the second stock already. GTG on the right side gets launched by the uh, by the recovery from Tiger. Oh. The side signature, that Thunder Rush almost caught Reaper, but it's going to be the recovery that puts Reaper down to his final stock. And Reaper is just, he's being bullied at this point. You know, he's already down to his last stock. Goes to Ghost as well to the left of his second stock. And the red team just seems kind of... To, to be in a class on their own at the moment, there we go. The blue team finally able to move the first stock to both members of Team Red, but Reaper's already on his last stock. This could be trouble. Uh oh, oh. Especially GTG didn't touch. Oh, man. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh, and Reaper man. gets 2v1'd in the meantime on the respawn. This is basically over for the blue team. They've got one more game to go after this one, but it is going to be hard to rally back into this. Yeah, I mean, you can see that they're trying here. Jerry K goes for the D-Light, trying to see if he can go ahead and wrap this up. If they're able to get a quick kill on Jerry K here, man, if that Axe Recovery had spiked him backwards, he could have had a chance to be back in this. But now, still looking for hits. Tiger gets a Stomp Sayer. It's a 2v1. DTG is in the orange. There is not much that this man can do here. Yo, oh, oh. Just kind of went low, got caught by that Spear Toss. That's going to be game number three going the way of Jerry K and Tiger. They are one game away from closing this out and being crowned the Combo Breaker Southeast Asia champions. Yo, look at the, the like, dancing. <laughs> I know, I love that that it does that. I think it's so cool. I'm like, man, I gotta get my battle pass there, bro. I'm only like tier 28 or something. I got, I got more to go. <laughs> yeah, I need to play. Uh, I haven't done a lot of week three's missions and I, I need to catch up there. We're seeing Reaper GTG thinking about what their picks are going to be. Uh, looks like it's going to oh. be back to the double lance, but a Scarlet pick from GTG instead of the Ulgrim. And I don't think that's a necessarily a bad look at all. We saw Dolan have great success with his Scarlet. Uh, so maybe Ghost to Ghost will be able to find some of the same success here. Are we going back? Miami Dolan again? Might be. They're definitely leaving it on board for that specific reason. And yes, it will be Tiger and Jerry K. Versus Reaper and GTG on Miami Dome for game number four. That means GTG will be able to throw out that Scarlet Hammer D Sig all willy nilly. And that, that, that'll KO really early. It's already a, a move that's kind of known for KOing in the light orange, but you throw it on a stage like this and you're a little bit close to the edge, and this is going to be curtains for you. Whoa, oh. Jerry K gonna be uh, closing those curtains on GTG's first stock real high in the top of the map. That is a huge lead for the red team. Jerry K, oh man, they weren't ready for that. Nice big side signature from Tiger on the left side. Jerry K and Tiger already running away with game number four. Yeah, Jerry K probably gonna go off stage here against Ghost to Ghost, no. Not gonna be able to get hot pursuit now. Go for an edge guard if he wants to, but they go for the two v one instead. And I like that decision. The quick turnaround with the end sig goes to ghost suffered in his final stock. It's been not even a minute. Oh no! Not even a minute, and they're both on their final stocks. The team KO from GTG as well on the respawn. Reaper finally gets a stock off of the red team. GTG going for the big play. Knows that he needs to get these imps onto the red team and we're coming back into this one. The side air is still not enough to finish off Tiger. Oh, man. Oh, man. No. Sometimes you just you see a slaughter and you got to report it. This is not good look for the blue team right now. They're fighting their hearts out, but it just seems they are against uh, you know, two competitors in the league of their own at the moment. Tiger and Jerry K make quick work with Reaper and Ghost to Ghost. Whoa. And that Nair's going to do it. Thunder Rush, not quite enough force, but it's only a matter of time here. Yeah, five stocks left on the red team. Reaper already in the red on his final stock here. This is going to be over soon as uh, Tiger and Jerry K very well likely going to be the Southeast Asian Combo Breaker champions. And they're looking for it. Trying to find that hit. Wall slip, man, just to needle his way through. Reaper just trying to hang in there, man. And there you have it. I mean, you already said it. Tiger and Jerry K come out on top as the 2v2 Southeast Asia combo breaker champions in a very, very dominating grand.
finals. I mean, that first game, we were like, okay, Reaper and Ghost to Ghost got something. And then everything from that point forward was just, I, it was a sigh of relief for them, I guess, because they just cruised their way through the rest of that. Tiger and JRK just kept leveling up, and we saw GTG and Reaper just trying to find characters that would fit the mold, that would be the answer to close out the Grand Finals, or at least get that reset, but they never found that answer. Either way, well played to all of these teams, of course. The, the champions of Combo Breaker for Southeast Asia, JRK and Tiger.